find our young folks watching herds high in the mountain and girl but here they come with the he puts the cheese into a mold here it will it's aged and ready to eat and here they are driving in the cattle and the goats Inger and Halvard are old hands at this like others on the fjord they with mother Lundy bring the herd to the center every summer. Here they tend the herd alone all summer long, while the men of the family stay below on the farm to care for the crops. Now Halvard feeds the cattle their salt for the day. There's some for the goats too. But this one likes the grass on the roof better now they're busy with the milking. Everybody helps, for our farm families here on the fjord make much of their living from milk and butter and cheese. It's too cool and damp here in Norway to grow many crops. The waterfall over there across the valley. It's the next morning now, and Halvard is at work early. Today they're going home to the farm on the fjord. Halvard's first task of the day is to send the milk on its way to the dairy. The dairy is far down the mountainside in the village. They send the milk down the mountain on a cable slide. Halvard is putting the milk can on the cable now. A dairyman will pick it up at the bottom of the slide. And here he comes up the path from the village. Now Halvard lets the milk can go, sliding, sliding down the cable. He can't let it slide too fast. There it goes, way, way down the mountain, into the valley far below. And here it comes, ready for the dairyman. He's one of the neighbors whose cattle Inger and Halvard are watching on the mountain. Every day, he and his little daughters come for the milk from the satyr and carry it down to the dairy. There it will be made into butter and cheese. this coming up the mountain? Why, it's Father Lundy with a pony. He's come to take them home, and Inger and Halvard are so glad to be going home, they run out quickly to round up the cattle and goats. The others put mother's cheeses and things into the clove on the pony's back. Now, down they go, leaving the satyr till next summer. It's quite a trip down the mountainside to the little farm waiting here beside the fjord. Down there is Brother Olaf. He's mowing hay and looking out for the others to come home. He gathers the hay and hangs it up to dry, for it's too damp in our country to let it dry on the ground. Well, he must see someone coming. Yes. There they are, they're home at last, the whole family together again. To Inger and Halvard and their mother, the old familiar fields and buildings look very fine after the long summer living at the center. They hurry straight to the house while the others take the cattle to the stable. Yes, they all think it's good to be home again. Next morning, there's much for everyone to do. Inger polishes up in the kitchen, while Mother is making flatbread. This is our Norwegian bread. Outside on the fjord, 
Father and Olaf are going out to see what they've caught in the fishing nets they set out last night. Perhaps they'll have a few sea trout at least. Halvard is getting ready to go to the village. He and Inger are going to take some eggs into the dairy. They see Father and Olaf hauling in the net as they go down to the water to take the other boat. The village is a short distance away across the fjord. Inger and Halvard are very much at home in a boat, you know. We who live on the fjords travel on the water almost everywhere. They can't wait to see what Father and Olaf have found in the net. They know they'd better hurry on to the village. Well, over there's a big ship coming down the fjord. This trip to the village is a real treat. It's a pleasant day to be on the water, and they haven't been to the village since school closed in the spring. Well, here they are at last, close to the village dock. Sometimes there are fishing boats moored here and ships that have come in from far away ports. But today, the dock is quiet. There's nothing to keep Inger and Halvard from hurrying on up to the village street where the shops are. After a summer away, the things in the shop windows seem very inviting. Just look at this beautiful chinaware. This must have come from Denmark or Sweden. You can find interesting things from all over the world here in the village shops. But our friends must go on to the dairy. And there it is ahead. This is where the farmers bring their milk, you know. We call it a cooperative dairy, for all the farmers round about own it together. The dairyman, Mr. Jacobson, is an old friend. He says the eggs will bring a good price when he sends them away to market in the city. Now they have time to see what's going on in the dairy. They watch the people making milk into butter and cheese. Butter and cheese that is sent to other parts. This evening, we're going to a little neighborhood festival to celebrate the homecoming from the Satyrs. Our friends are here early. And here come the others. Mother and the other women are wearing our national Norwegian costume, as they often do on special occasions like this. And look, Olaf has brought a pretty neighbor girl. The dancing begins and the older people lead off with a lively step as the fiddler plays an old familiar tune on his hodding fella. So the dance goes on in the long, bright evening with everybody happy to see their friends and neighbors again after a busy summer on the farm on the fjord.